application is asking us to figure out how long it takes for something to drain or fill when you're using a cylindrical tank or a cylindrical pool. So we're going to need to know the volume of a cylinder. So just to remind us, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. Essentially it's the area of the base multiplied by the height. So in our first example here we have a cylindrical oil tank that is 4.2 meters long, 4.2 meters long, or feet long, sorry, and it has a diameter that happens to be equal to 2.4, so that's the distance all the way across, and oil is being drained out of it at a rate of 1.8 cubic feet per minute. And we want to figure out how long it's going to take for this thing to be completely emptied. So we're definitely going to need first step, the volume. The volume is going to be equal to pi, and our software likes the approximation for pi of 3.14, r radius. Well, notice they gave us a diameter here of 2.4, so my radius is going to be 1.2. The radius is half of the diameter, and that's squared, and that's going to be multiplied by the height, and the height, the length in this case, is 4.2. Okay, so that's going to be the volume, that's going to tell me how much total cubic feet I have. So in order to figure out how long it takes, since I know my rate, I'm just going to take that volume and divide by the rate because that's going to tell me how long it's going to take for all that amount of stuff to come out of the tank. So I'm going over the calculator now. I'm just going to type in 3.14 times 1.2 squared times 4.2 divided by 1.8. <clears throat> and if you played along, hopefully you got an answer here of 10.5503. And the units would be minutes. So if we were asked, for example, to round to the nearest minute, we would say, ah, it's going to take us about 11 minutes to empty out that tank. Okay, that's pretty cool. So why don't you take a, a minute and see if you can do a problem on your own? Try this one. Pause the video, see if you can get the answer to this problem. Assuming you tried it, we have a cylindrical pool, and we'll work it out together now. A cylindrical pool and it's two meters tall and it has an internal radius of three. So this time it was given three as the internal radius and we are trying to fill it. So we're throwing in water this time at a rate of 0 0.5 cubic meters per minute. So the approach, the philosophy is going to be just the same as last time. We're going to find first of all the whole volume volume was pi, so approximately 3.14, times radius, 3 squared, multiplied by height, which is 2, and we're going to divide the volume by the rate at which it's filling up, so that way we can figure out how many minutes it would take for it to fill up. Okay, so once we have that, go over to the calculator. 3.14 times 3 squared times 2 divided by 0.5 is giving me, whoa, 113.04 minutes. So this one's going pretty slowly, eh? It's going to take a long time for it to fill up. We've got 3.14, let me make sure I got all these numbers right. It makes me anxious when it takes that long. Yep, it looks like it's all right. So that just means it's taking approximately 113 minutes or almost a couple hours for us to fill in that entire pool.